When your machine comes, you're going to have all these different colors all over the place and the colors are not going to match what's on the screen. All right, see what's on the screen. If I hit my colors thing, if I hit this button right here, the colors are right here and I've already changed some of them. Then it goes on the wheel, around the wheel one entire time. That's how you thread the MT-1501. Let's go over how to insert the bobbin. Boom, wait a minute, just like that. Boom, 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 just like that. Hey, 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 Productions, just like that. Like, comment, subscribe, just like that. Boom, wait a minute, just like that. Hey, Dub, you ready? Wait a minute. What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Alan Wade, and we're back again with another video on the MT-15. Oh, one baby, that's right, we're back in another video. And today we're going to take a look at this section right here. One of the biggest things about this machine is getting over the fear of this part right here. Got all these knobs and dials and pulleys and rods and thread has to go all these different ways. It can seem really, really intimidating, but I'm here to tell you it really isn't. Once you thread one, you can thread them all. It does take a little time, I'm not gonna lie, especially when initially setting them up, you have 15, 15 of these things to thread, but it's okay. Once you thread one, you just repeat the process over and over and over for each different one, okay? So we're gonna familiarize, I'm gonna help you guys get familiar with the whole threading process and so that you guys can have an easier time because like I said, once you master this right here, Everything else is just, you know what I mean? You're confident. When you have a thread break, you'll be able to fix it real fast. I'm gonna show you a trick about tying two threads together so you can, let's jump into it right now, guys. But before we get into it, I want you guys to hit the thumbs up button because that's the only way that I know that you guys wanna see more Recoma videos and more familiarization videos about this machine so you can feel less intimidated, so you can take that big leap of faith. And when you take it and receive your machine, you'll be ready to go, ready to start. Making that money, baby. Let's go. All right, so first I'm gonna grab some scissors and we're gonna cut the white thread. <gasps> we're gonna cut the white thread and then I'm gonna thread it all over again from scratch. Let's do it. Here it is right here. I'm gonna cut it, I'm gonna cut it. Clip, thread break. Thread is officially broken. Here's our same white thread that we just broke and let's pull it down from the bottom, pull it all the way through and out. There we go. We got no white thread in there. All gone. No white thread. Missing. Oh boy, here we go. So let's familiarize ourselves with this riser plate right here and understand how things go. And once again, this is the same process. Thread number one goes in the first hole. Thread number two goes in the second hole and back in the first hole, if I'm saying that right. And thread number three goes in the last hole back here. Actually, let, let's do it like this. Thread number one goes in the first bar right here because it only goes up and goes through here. Then thread number two goes into second bar and to back through the uh, first bar. Then thread number three goes in the third bar, which is all the way back here, through the hole right in front of it in the second bar and through the hole right in front of that in the first bar and so on and so forth because the threads, as you guys can see, are lined up in threes. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, so on and so forth, all the way down to 15. So thread number one uh, for the first row, uh, thread number one for the second row, thread number two, for some, thread number one for the uh, third row, thread number one for the um, fourth row, same thing, they all go. Thread number one, first hole, right? Let me focus a little bit. Thread number one, first hole, thread number two, second hole, second bar, and then through the one, through the uh, hole right in front of it. Thread number three, third, uh, third hole in the third bar, through the hole right in front of it, and through the hole right in front of that, all right? So now we're going to thread thread number one that we just broke, which is right here. It's the white thread. Let's grab me some white thread right here. And I'm gonna put it, first step, through the hole. All right, 
This is manual. This is the worst case scenario when you uh, mess everything up and you gotta uh, you gotta put it you gotta you know totally thread the whole thing again. Now bear with me, guys. It's not that hard. So right now I'm putting it through the hole. See the thread peek through? Just grab it from the other side. That's step number one. As a matter of fact, I'm not even going to count the steps because there, <laughs> there's quite a few. All right, so I'm going to take the thread and it's going to go through this little hole. There's a little hole right here behind. This is, this is behind the, uh, the knob, right? This is the front of the machine right here. This is the back of the machine. So right now you guys are looking at the back of the machine. So boom. I'm gonna pass it through this little hole right here. All right, grab that thread. Pass that through that little hole right there. And now, pay attention. Pay attention, guys, all right? We're through the hole, right? It's gotta go in between the plate, but over top and behind this bar. So I'm raising it up. Really, you should do this with two hands, but I'm trying to get it on film. In between, behind, and keep it in between there. All right, almost got it, almost got it. Let me pull on a little bit more. Hold that up, feed it through, get it to drop down, and like, just like that. See how I got it in there? Just like that. Now, third part, this little rubber thing has to come off. Let's take it off. We're just gonna gently pull up on it because it's like wedged in there. So you just gently pull up on it and that little rubber thing comes off. And the same thing with the other part. There's a part that's attached down here. Just gently pull on it. As you guys see, there's no thread. Gently pull on it, and it comes off, and I got it in my hand. Look at that. It's not intimidating at all. Now, this is the hard part. Well, it's not really hard. It's just kind of weird the way I do it, right? Watch this. I'm trying to make sure you guys see it here, because this is an intricate part right here. It's kind of, it's special. So I'm going to grab the thread. I'm going to pull a nice amount through, all right? And then... I'm just gonna drop it in there. I'm just gonna drop it in and I'm gonna wiggle it while I'm dropping it in, all right? It's shaking, it's wiggling. Drop some more in. If you do this right, it can go right through. If not, then just shake it around a little bit and it'll go through. This is the tedious part. Now see, got it right at the bottom. Wasn't that hard at all, right? Pull a little bit through, got that part done, reattach it. But when you're reattaching it, make sure that thread is still in between the plate right there because mine came a little loose. So make sure it's still in that plate. Clip it in. Like I said, make sure it's in the plate. The thread is in between the plates. All right, good. We're good to go on that. Just gonna push it in a little bit. Yeah, good to go. Sitting, it's sitting in between the plates. You wanna make sure it's sitting in between plates. Each of these steps are important. When I say sitting in between the plates, the thread is literally in between the plates all the way through, all right? It's all the way through there, all right? Very important. And I'm going to take my time and show you guys this, but once you do it once, like I said, it's not that hard to do. You just got to make sure you follow each step. All right, so watch the video. So this next part, I'm just going to grab this and sit it in here. It's going to go in between here. This is going to sit in between that groove right there. All right, and the thread has to go through this thing right here and behind it. All right, I'm going to show you how to do that real simple. Put that over here, push it down, grab the thread. I like to put a finger right here and hold this right here with two fingers and just feed it through this little lip right here. Make sure I got a good grip on it, feed it through the little lip, and boom, it's behind that clip. All right, make sure the clip is facing this way because this clip can move all around, it can go that way. It can go up here, all right? Make sure it's sitting this way, all right? Nice and across, like that. Now this next part is just like the part up top, whereas though the thread has to go through the little symbol things again. We're gonna call them symbols. Now, believe it or not, guys, we've already made some serious progress. We've pretty much done the hard part. Actually, no, the hard part's coming up. All right, so see the symbols? We're just gonna put it in between, and that's pretty much it. These are tensioners right here. This is a tensioner. You tighten this up to add tension to the thread. Same thing with the one up top. It's a tensioner, all right? So down. And now this next part, I really think that this is where a lot of people are messing up um, and are saying that the machine won't sew and stuff like that. You're doing this part wrong, all right? So 
the thread comes down, right? Through the little symbols, you put it between here, right? It goes in between here. You guys watching? The thread goes on this side, on the left side as you're watching it, of this little thing right here, right? Then it goes on the wheel, around the wheel one entire time, right? And then back through here, all right? So you got that? Let me do it again. All right, let me do it one more time. All right, the thread goes on the little thing that sticks out through the wheel, well, in the groove of the wheel, around the wheel, one full rotation, right? And then back through this other one. See that? And then while we're doing that and we got the tension on, just go ahead and feed it through here. Fed it through there, all right? See that? You got that? All right, next part. Now, I'm not gonna lie. This part is kind of like a little bit of like a little bit of a maze, but I'm gonna do the best I can to show you guys. Let me bring my light in a little bit closer. All right, so from here, you're gonna be tempted to pass a thread through here. That's wrong. It goes down in this little groove right here. Can you guys see my finger? It goes down this, behind this little groove right here. All right, let me re-angle my thing. All right, down this little groove right here. So just drop the thread down behind that little groove right there. And don't pay attention to that right now because that's not important all the way because we can always adjust that. This is the part that's important right here. All right, this little, little maze right here. This little maze. Uh, you might want to grab some tweezers. I believe it came with some tweezers. I got some tweezers anyway. But the thread goes in here, right? Just drop it down in here. Look where it's going. Follow the path. You can get lost in here. Drop it down in here and kind of like grab it with your tweezers. All right? That's step number one. All right? Now you got to pass it through this little hole right here. All right? Pull some through. Pass it through the hole. All right? Grab it. Oh, look at that. Slip through. It's going to happen, guys. All right. And the only reason why it's taking me this long is because I'm making a video for you guys. I know how to do this real fast now. Well, not real fast, but all right. Now it's through the hole. Now it's got to go up through the other side. All right. We came in. Trying to get the light. We came in through this side, right? Went through this little hole. Now we're going to go up through this hole. All right. Up through that hole. So grab your thread with your tweezers or whatever you're gonna grab, and now you're gonna feed it back up here. All right, back up here. Tweezers just makes it easier. All right, now we go up. We go up, 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 back through here, All right? Back through here. Now we go through this little thing right here. All right, and I know you guys are like, oh my gosh, that's a lot. You're talking to a guy here, all right, ladies and gentlemen, talking to a guy here that, like, felt the same way that you did, and I'm telling you right now, it's not that hard. It's not that hard. Now it goes through this little hole, this little hole right here. Pick up my camera, move it. I want to fly. Live action here. It's not perfect crap that you watch normally, all right? This is live action to teach you guys how to do this, all right? We're like in class together. Now, you drop it through that little hole. There's a little hole right there. You guys see it. Drop it through that little hole behind the bar. Guys, we're pretty much done. All right. Make sure. See how the thread is in, in front right there. I'm just going to move it over. Drops in there. All right. Everything's lined up. All right. Look, look. Um, the threads where I said it's supposed to be down. Look at the other one, right? It's down. All right. We went down. We went down. We went through this part. All right. We went through the little hole right there. We went back up through the other side. Then we went all the way up, right? All the way up through the hole, back down through this hole behind the bar, 
Now we go down through the final hole right here. Just pull some thread through, through the final hole right here. Drop it in there. All right, pull it out the other side. All right, we're pretty much done threading the machine. Few more, few more parts. This is the part where I think the tweezers really come in handy because you can kind of control the thread to where it needs to go. All right, so let me tell you where the thread needs to go. It has to go behind this little hoop right here. There's a little, there's a little hook that goes behind that. All right, so you grab the thread like this and you can feed it through like this because it's thread number one. But as you go through these other threads, and you, you know, you got all these threads in the way, you want, the tweezers will help, right? So boom, we got that done. And one more little trick right here that could get you, you gotta go down, wait, one second, no, yeah. After it goes, after it goes in here, you gotta go through the hole, through the hole. And guys, if your thread is not going through the hole because you got a little, like, a, a little split thread on it, just clip it. All right, but I don't see one on mine, so I'm just gonna try to go through. You gotta have good eyes for this, so use a magnifying glass. Whatever your tactic is, just do it. And I got it through the first time, so we're good to go. Never mind my crusty old fingers. I like to lift weights and stuff, so boom. And one more thing, after you pull it through, drop it down in here and pull it through. Our machine is all threaded it's that simple and then boom on the bar there's this little springy type thing I just put the bar on this little springy thing and guys one thing I, I I don't know if this makes a difference or not but pay attention to when you pull the thread right when you pull the thread there's see that see that spring right there um, when I thread my machine for some reason I don't like to have it like say if I lock it in the spring right now if I lock it in the spring right now, that thing is up. I don't know whether it makes a difference or not, but I like to pull enough so the thing remains at its resting position. It's at its resting position. I don't know if that makes a difference, but it's at its resting position. There's no tension on it. If you lock it in right here and lock it in the little spring thing at the bottom, see, I, I locked it in there. There's still tension on this right here and it's up. That's not as at, at its resting position. I, I, it's just a thing. I don't know if that means anything or not, but I like to just take the thread back out, just loosen it up a little bit. Like by loosening it up, I mean just give it a little slack, right? And when you give it a little slack, that thing drops down onto the bar at its resting position. And then I go ahead and put it into the springs in between. Now the access thread, I just take something, some scissors, and just clip it. Let me grab some scissors real fast. Where, where are you? Okay, boom. And then I just clip it. And that's it, guys. We are um, we're all threaded up. That's it. That's 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 it. That's how you thread the MT1501. Now let's go over um, let's go over how to insert the bobbin. Really, really easy since we're right here, all right, two for one. All right, we're right here, the bobbin is right there. That's the bobbin case. 